check this out. Got another plane to show you. New XK. J3 Cub. A160. Should be a nice little plane. It's not a bad size actually. Got the stabilisation built in. So it's a beginner plane. There's our wingspan there. 650 wingspan, so it's not a bad size. Comes with everything. Your radio, lipo battery and charger. So it's not too bad. The bag's already taken off. My brother, I believe, has just put a little bit of clear on it. He had some spare time. He couldn't wait. So let's open it up and have a look. Which way are we going to go? Here we go. Got an instruction manual. Look at that, it looks nice, doesn't it? Looks like the real plane, actually. Maybe that's what the real one looks like. This is Scar model. Comes well packed. Propellers on there, look, everything's on there. Oh, I've got the radio underneath, we'll flip him over. Yeah, oh, this one's got the little screen on it. Button on the top. I believe that's to change the modes from 3D to 6G. And that might change the rates from low rates to high rates. I think it does. So we'll test that out at the field. And we've got four channels. Look at this. There's a rudder. So that's good. That out. What do we look at? Well, look at the landing gear. Look at them and be impressed. Look at the springs on them. Oh, might even take off on the grass. This one, not bad, isn't it? Very nice. Got a little bag full of bits. Let's pull them out. We've got some little tiny bits. We've got a little bit of assembly to do on these. It does look like the wheels just push in, but we might have a couple of little screws to hold them in. And we've got some tiny, tiny, that's probably the worst thing with this plane. Look at these, tiny, tiny little springs. We don't want to lose them. There's another one. So you get four tiny little springs. We'll put them in the bag, we don't want to lose them. And we've got a whole heap of tiny screws. So it is a little bit fiddly. Not completely ready to fly. Look at them. Tiny little screws. Here we go. Tiny, tiny. We've got these little clippy things. Guessing that's to hold the main wing on. And a little screwdriver. And a beautiful USB charger. Very handy. So, comes with everything you need to get in the sky. Except for AA batteries in here. Very little bit. That's tight. Here we go. Four AA batteries. That's all you need to get in the sky. Here we go. Horizontal stabilizer. We've got some plastic reinforcing here. Maybe put a screw in there. Looks like we've got to hook up some rods too. You see, it's got a little bit of a shine to it. Got the clear on there. 
Oh, nice. Spare prop. Very nice. Here's our wings. They can be a little bit delicate, these little planes. That looks nice, doesn't it? Very nice. We've got some plastic in here. Screw in there. Little plug to plug in. Oh, there we go. Here's our supports for our wing. Very nice. I'll have to put a little tiny screw in there. So those rods are already pre-installed, so that's good. Very nice. Little, some decals on there. We've got another one here. Okay, what do we got? Riding on one of them, no riding on the other one. There we go, and they've swapped the riding. N cub, G N cub. There we go. And see, we've got some plastic to slide together like this. Should be an easy build, it's just a bit fiddly, the little tiny screws, that's all. And the masterpiece. Look at this. Nice plastic. Look at the engine. Looks impressive, doesn't it? Oh, look, the little exhaust pipe under there. Very nice. Very nice. Little deco on the back. Oh, we've got some little springs on the back there too. Look. Help our wheel go up and down. Some suspension. Have to clip the little clevises on. A little tab there, nipple there, sticking out, one in there, put the little screws in there. So it should be screw assembly. Shouldn't need any glue. That wires for our main wing. A little bit of foam in there. Looks impressive, doesn't it? Not a bright yellow, it's a dirty yellow. Dirty yellow, a bit different than on the box. But that's alright. Looks nice. Looks nice. Even got the cub symbol on there. Very nice. Looking like a nice quality plane. Just a little bit of assembly, that's all. Sometimes it's fun to do a little bit of assembly. Don't know if you can see in there, we've got a tiny little receiver or something in there. A receiver or something, but the gyro would have to be stitched down. There's a gyro in there with the two servos attached to it. In the back there, so you can pop that off and get to it if you need to. And same as on the box, 500 two cell lipo. That's a pretty big battery, actually, isn't it? For the little plane, slide up in there, like like the big cubs. Some of the Cessnas do that, don't they? That's all right. Very nice. I'm back. Captain Muppets assembled the little plane. It's quite nice, isn't it? He said, it's just a bit fiddly, that's all. Two screws in there. Slide the tail in. Clip the clevises on. Got a nice little suspension there. There's a the wing strut. He's popped them in the little holes there. And we've got a screw there and a screw there. And it sort of holds the wheels on as well. It slips in a little groove. Pretty flash with the springs. Not too bad. And of course, Captain Muppet, he's put some sort of little Muppet in the cabin there. 
he's found something. And you pop the main wing on, and there's a couple of little half turn screws there. Not too bad, and of course, connector wires up inside there. You can see them hanging down in there. So not bad. So we'll plug our wire in here and see what happens. Right away. Just beeping now, trying to bind. Turn our radio on. There we go. It's bound. And it's that easy. We're alive. Don't think this the stabilizer doesn't work until we push the throttle. So there's nothing. But of course. This is when you check your control services to make sure everything's level and we're looking good there. Looking good, not too bad. I think our tail's not too bad. It's pretty good. And our rudder, we're looking pretty good. Hold the model, arm the throttle. Now our gyro is working. Try and level itself. That's why it's the beginner plane. If the wing tosses you a little bit, tries to flatten it out, flatten out the flight experience. So what do we got here? So we have we are on 100%. Don't know if you can see that, but just here it says you want to change. Goes to eighty percent. Flick that. Goes to a hundred percent. Hundred percent right. Flick the switch. Then you got eighty percent. And up in the top corner, very small, it says high and low. You see the H there, and it goes to low. And actually, when you move your stick, it lights up on the little plane which one you're moving. Tail, will be crooked. There's our right aileron. And as you can see, we this is really good. If you watch the rudder, watch the rudder. That'll help it to fly around. Beautiful. Won't it? There's the other side. Really great feature though. And this should be in the 6G mode. So now we'll hit this top button, go to the 3D when we can roll it over basically, do the rolls, loops, do the stunts. Oh yes, and our light's flashing. So that's helpful. Might even have some more control. And we've got no rudder mixing on that mode. That's because of the stunts. When you're doing the stunts, you don't want no mixing. That's so really good. Cubs fly around beautiful, so this one should be no exception. The elevator doesn't move a lot, does it? So, like I said, the only downside, there's a little bit of assembly. Just a little bit fiddly, getting the tiny screws in. That's all. So that's not too bad. Of course, it's a little bit bigger model, so you can't have it fully assembled. The box would be too big for the transport on the full 6G mode. So the aileron's staying up because it wants to keep it level for you. That's why it's a beginner plane. Great looking plane. Looks good. May not take off on the grass. 
you should be able to hand launch it. Definitely put it in the 6G. Hand launch it. Probably three quarters throttle. And toss it into the wind. And it should be right. I just got it bound to our radio master. Monty protocol. On this protocol. KN. WL Toys. Binds up beautiful. Um, what can I show you? I just got these rates there. Just copied off another little model. 100% 1980. 15% expo all around. And I'll show you to adjust the gyro stabiliser in a channel 8. So I've just got the, the middle switch and down the, exactly the same. And the 6G is minus 100%. And then the other two is 100%. So that's start mode. Self level is minus 100%. And it all works. It's beautiful. How good is that? As you can see, you can see the rudder moving there with the ailerons. Perfect. So we'll test this at the field with both controllers. Should be a great little plane. Very handy when you can bind it to your big radio. Okay, let's head to the field. Check this out. Beautiful XK Cub. Looks like a real plane, doesn't it? Looks good. Let's get in the sky. We're up. Oh, it's flying beautiful. Because I'm flying a bit high. Just until I get used to it. It's so quiet, you can't hear it. Maybe a little trim. He has a look in the camera. Maybe it needs a rudder trim. Let's go to the left a little bit. Line, perfect. No hands. Look at this. Not much wind today, so this is good. Perfect day for flying. nice. <coughs> Hope it looks good in the camera. Be faster, flat out. What happened there? Whoops. We're up. We'll have another go. Don't know what had just happened then. Fell out of the sky. I'll try and keep it a bit higher this time. It was fine, so good. I don't know what happened. A bit high for the filming though, isn't it? Bring it down a bit more. Flies around beautiful. Expert mode. I'll be 
going up a little bit. Bit hard to fly. Bit all over the place, aren't I? Even though there's not much wind. Maybe it's these sticks aren't real, not centering that good. Maybe I need to try it on my radio master. We'll do that. All right, we'll land it. Swap controllers. Come into the wind. No throttle. Bring the throttle back in. Oh, not a bad landing. We'll swap controllers. We're in the air. Again. Don't know what happened. Now I got the radio master. Got a nicer stick now. A few more feeling. I'm not used to those little controllers. Yeah, she's flying. I'll keep it at half throttle. 100% rates. 15% expo. Pushing it down a bit. Trim to the left. Come back. Because this is a beginner mode, and it does have the rudder mixing. I know I'm a bit high for the filming, but I don't want to wreck it. Five minutes. Push it forward a little bit. Fair bit, so we might have to manually adjust that elevator a bit later on when we get home. Maybe some other time. Still need some more trimming. I'm going to run out of battery. It only comes with one battery. That's the only downside. Is it a beginner plane? But this type of shape is a perfect beginner plane. But you have got a little bit of assembly, which is a little bit fiddly. If you stick to the beginner mode, you might be all right. Four minutes. But as you can see, it's not flying perfect out of the box. Still going up. Am I game enough to put it in expert mode now? Expert mode? We've got another plane in the sky too. Maybe I'll go to 80%. I can fly it. a little bit sensitive on the sticks at 80% but it's okay. It is a small plane, got to remember that. Small planes are hard to fly without the gyro. Well it has got the gyro to help if it gets tossed around by the wind. It does try and level out the flight for you. But as you can see you, you can bank it all the way over. So this, can be a bit all over the place for a beginner. Okay, been flying for a long time now, so self-level self -level mode. We'll bring it back down, push it down, come in for the landing. 
bring the throttle back in. I'll cut it. Yeah, I forgot to put it on high rates. Thanks for watching.